Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make creamy slow cooker mac and cheese. It's the holiday season and this one is so easy to put together. Doesn't take much time to cook in the crock pot. Why would you want to bring this one somewhere or make it for yourself for Christmas? I'm using a six quart crock pot for this recipe today. We're going to start off with a box of elbow pasta. We're not cooking it. We're going to spray the inside of our crock pot and then we're going to place the macaroni inside. Spray it good. You don't want all that cheese to stick too much. All right, we're using one pound, 16 ounces of your classic elbow pasta that's used in macaroni and cheese. All right, got it all in there. We're gonna add in 16 ounces of evaporated milk. Now you wanna make sure you are not putting in the sweetened condensed milk, all right? People tend to get confused with that. All right, that's what I'm using right here, evaporated milk. We're gonna add one and a half cups of half and half. There we go. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get it all stirred up so it doesn't stick. Get it nice and coated. All right, let's season it up. Gotta give it some nice flavor so people will love you. <laughs> One teaspoon of salt, because we've got a lot of pasta going on in there. We're going to put in half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. That'll give it a nice flavor. Ooh, let's put a little bit more in there. There we go. We're going to put in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we'll put in one tablespoon of minced onion. We're going to add in one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. There we go. Let's blend all that in together. Mix the layers together. Oh, it smells good in there. All right, let's talk about the cheese. We're gonna put in about 32 ounces of shredded cheese. Now I'm gonna grate mine fresh off the block using my cheese grater. All right, we've got all the pieces assembled. We're gonna lock it in. Get us a knife. I'm gonna be using some sharp cheddar cheese and some Monterey Jack cheese. We're gonna cut it into wedges that will fit into our, our shredder. I'm gonna hold it and then put that one on and finish grating it. Ooh, look at that, mm, yum. Turn it around the other way. Okay, we're gonna add this to the crock pot. This is 16 ounces, and then I'm gonna go in and shred 16 more ounces of a Monterey Jack cheese. I love fresh grated cheese. It's amazing flavor, texture but you can certainly use the bag cheese if you wanna do that, to save yourself some time. This cheese grater, oh, it's amazing, love it. Let's put that in so we don't get our fingers in there. There we go. All right, let's add that to the other cheese in our crock pot. Now 
Now you can do between 24 to 32 ounces of cheese. I think I'm going to start here at the 24 ounces. We're going to blend this all together very carefully. Just work your way around. You want to get that pasta and liquid seasonings and everything blended in with the cheese. It smells good. I'm going to kind of smooth this out. All right, I got one more thing going in here. Let me just wipe off the sides a little bit. Ooh, we got to make this rich. Pats of butter. Thin pats. Do about half a stick, which is four tablespoons. I think that looks good right there. Now we've got to go more. And right there. We're going to cook this on low for one and a half to two hours. Now we're going to check this every 30 minutes and give it a stir and mix it around. Now at the one and a half hour mark, go in, check your pasta and see if it's tender enough for you. If not, add another 30 minutes, check it at that time. Now if you feel like you need to add a little liquid to it, you can add some chicken broth just to kind of get it going if you need to. All right, I'm going to be back. Okay, so this is cooked for two and a half hours and every 30 minutes I went in stirred it up and I added about a quarter cup to half a cup of chicken broth each time that way it has some liquid to help cook your pasta now it's very creamy look at that Ooh, yum right now depending on the size of your pasta is how long it'll cook in the crock pot because if you're using like a thicker pasta it takes longer than if you're using like the thinner pasta there we go. This is a hearty pasta. It's holding up to all of that cheese and the shape of the pasta here. All right, we're gonna bowl this up. Give it a try for you. Okay, <laughs> that's my bowl. <laughs> Do y'all have a bowl? Gosh, it looks so creamy, cheesy. The pasta is tender the way we like it. Here's my bite. Mm. That is party worthy. Woo! That's a pot of gold right there. <laughs> yes, the perfect side dish for your Christmas meal, for any meal. Bring it for a potluck, bring it for a luncheon that you're going to have at work for Christmas. Wow. Have this on New Year's. Y'all, that's delicious. All right, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you like this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.